welcome to War Room for Courageous Wives. And I am here again to give you another, yet another um, marriage confession and affirmation positive. We're continuing to speak life over our marriages, over our husbands, over our lives. We're being intentional. Um, And that also brings me to my uh, important reminder as well. Um, I want to remind you that, you know, we don't have to give anger and negative thoughts power over our hearts and our minds, Um, you know, because it's hard. Let's be honest. It's hard every day to be positive and and be happy and things like that because life happens. (laughs) Life happens and everything in life isn't going to um, you know, make you happy. (laughs) You're not going to be happy about everything. You're not going to have to smile about everything. There's going to be disagreements and things like that, disappointments, but, um, disagreements and disappointments only become arguments and strife when we invite anger to have a seat at the table. Um, Anger doesn't come in quietly and exit quietly. It has to leave with an explosion. You know, it's a hot mess. Let's just be honest. Um, Always needing to have the final word. Um, It's just, it's all over the place. We don't have to give anger power over our hearts and our minds. Um, It's not a spirit that comes from God. Um, It comes, it causes destruction, harm, and hurt. Um, Same as negative thoughts and feelings. Um, You know, therefore, it doesn't belong in you. Um, When there's a disagreement or disappointment or hurt, um, team up with your husband against the problem because there's a problem there. Team up with him, not against him. Um, This is how, you know, we become slow to anger um, by choosing um, to be partners with our husbands um, and not anger. Don't choose to be a partner with anger. Choose to be a partner with your partner, with your husband. Um, in James 119, um, it says we are advised to be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to get angry. This is such, um, you know, something that's said so often, um, but you know, it's easier said than done. Um, being slow to anger doesn't mean you're ignoring your emotions or that you're avoiding problems. Not at all. Um, but instead you're listening from a place of love. Um, you're allowing grace to guide you so that you're able to hear, you know, beyond the words. Um, you're listening with a goal in mind to fight for this love, to fight for your marriage, to make your bond stronger than it was yesterday. The goal is to find some, is not to find something offensive in, you know, what your husband is saying to you or to find something to correct, um, but rather to get to the root of what the issue is um, and to fight against it together. Um, not to oppose each other, but to um, understand what the problem is and, you know, work with your husband. Um, I think that when, you know, we allow our anger to speak for us, um, we add um, not just anger, I might add anger and also negative thoughts and feelings. When we allow that stuff to speak for us and kind of control our actions, um, I think that, um, you know, we add on brand new problems. Like in my own life, I've seen that happen. I've been a witness to that. Um, You know, I'm speaking from my experience and um, what God is teaching me as I'm going on this journey. Um, I think that when we allow, um, like the negative thoughts and stuff, um, to lead us, or if we operate from that perspective, we miss the chance to work towards solutions. Um, you know, the Lord is, is wisdom and he gives us to us and, um, the Lord in his wisdom gives us, um, a mouth and two ears for a reason um, to listen twice as much as we speak. I know that's an old one. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. Um, so, you know, give your mind time to process what the person is saying before opening your mouth. Um, you know, I think that's the goal there. Um, the purpose of communication, communicating is not to add fire to the flame, right? Like when we go 
to talk to our husbands about something or even, you know, uh, our children, if we're saying like, Hey, I need to talk to you or even, um, anyone, um, you know, whether it's a coworker, you know, the goal in communication is to have a meeting of the minds. It's not to add, you know, uh, fuel to the fire. But, um, when you do speak, um, it should be to clarify, um, and not to create confusion, right. To get an understanding, um, as I said, um, a meeting of the minds, um, instead of anger, we should let love lead us. Um, and also grace, um, we were reminded, you know, in the Bible, um, I think it's first Corinthians 13 and five, that love is not easily angered. Um, you know, we too should strive to emulate this characteristic <clears throat> as we, um, you know, help to bring peace and understanding in the midst of conflict, um, especially, especially with your teammate, your partner, your lover, your boo thing, <laughs> your bae, your husband, your king, your his queen, you know, be his peace. Hello, Courageous Wives. Before we get to our confession for today, I do have to interrupt. I'm so sorry, but you will thank me later because I'm here to tell you about this amazing platform, Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. So if you're like me and you have a lot to say or you have a lot in your mind and you just want to get it off your chest, maybe starting a podcast is something that you can do too. It's free. Um, there's creation tools that allows you to record, distribute, and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Um, and Anchor will also help you distribute your podcast so that you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and so many more. Um, you can make money from your podcast with minimum listenership I mean that's super cool right especially if you're just starting out like me um, it's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place so download the free anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started okay back to it today's declaration is I raise the banner and the standard of Christ and declare the lordship of Jesus over my marriage I declare and decree that my marriage shall bear good fruit in Jesus' name.